I ran into a bit of problem with the uh, MKV files uh, yesterday, and um, I, you know, I, I want to convert my MKV files to uh, like AVIs or MPEGs or something like that, and maybe put it on my DVD player or like my handheld uh, MP3 player with video. Um, so it's kind of difficult to do that if you you have an MKV files that has dual audio channel. Now if you know what dual audio is, it's kind of like um, right here. See, so it has Japanese and fucking English too. Now, for a uh, basic uh, converter, they don't have options for you to choose between it, right? And, and same thing goes with uh, subtitles. If you have, you know, you have more than one subtitles, it's kind of hard to choose because uh, some player, some converters don't have those options. So what we're gonna do is uh, uh, convert this dual audio channel to a single, uh, you know, single one, so that we can convert it to any file that we want. So to do that, you need this uh, file here, okay, in your Synaptic, uh, MKV tool, Nix, and the GUI. Uh, that's basically all you need for this. Now we have the file here, so we're gonna open it. This is the MKV file creator. Uh, it looks basic. Uh, it's not really not hard to use this. Just drag in the file that you want to use. This. So this is our file here. And we're gonna drag it in, and when you drag it in, you have some options here, and you can see that they have. Um, let me see. See, they have the the main uh, video, and these are the two audio. Uh, this one is the Japanese one. This is the English one, and these are the subtitles, right? So all you have to do is uh, unselect the one that you don't need. Let's say you don't need the the, the Japanese shit or the subtitles. You only want the English, right? Now after that, now this program can do more than that, but I'm, I'm only going to talk about uh, uh, extracting it, okay? Now all you got to do is just save it now. Um, uh, give it a different name, I guess. Let me see. I don't know. Two, okay. And then you're going to start muxing it. Uh, that's about it. And it's going to do its job. Now all it's going to do now is just going to put uh, the video and the English only. So whatever you want to do, if you want the, the you know some, the, um, the Japanese or the, the the subtitles only, then you can do that. Just uncheck the one that you don't want, and start muxing it here. And it should take a, a bit. It's not really converting; it's just extracting it and only putting the you know the, the files that you want. So that's why it doesn't take that long. Okay, as opposed to converting, it takes longer. So that one is just extracting it. And uh, combining it, so we have our new file here, right? And let me open this one. And pause it here. And uh, now that we have that, uh, now that we go back to the the tracks, see, it only has English now. And as for the video, there's no subtitles either. So now you can use this file to convert it to AVIs or whatever the hell it is that you want, and uh, it's much better that way. Uh, it's only on a single um, audio, single um, subtitles if you're going to do that. So that's how you would uh, convert stuff that uh, the dual audio channel, uh, you know, if it doesn't work, that's what you have to do first uh, to get your setup working. So that is it. That was my problem, and uh, that's the way I fixed it. Uh, out.